Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Luke here, um, with a quick video about the Auction Master. Um, I did a guide on this a couple of years ago, uh, I think it's about time that I updated it because I've learned quite a few extra little bits and there's been a few changes recently. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So you open Auction Master, it looks like most of the, the WoW standard um, auction house sorry lost for words then uh, so you can click there you can configure auction master which I don't actually bother doing because uh, all it does is just mess about with uh, what you're doing uh, which you can also configure in this little uh, as you're going along so uh, the first thing you do when I come in a quick scan and as you see the scan speed was set to hurry by default, it was to perform a get all scan um, which scans every single thing on the auction house and saves the data for how much it costs, uh, how much each stack is, how much each individual, individual, individual item is so when you point to your items in your bags it tells you roughly how much they sell for and you'll notice um, if you encounter disconnect, please turn the scan speed off until Blizzard fix the problem. So I've clicked get all. That actually says there at the bottom down here. There are too many auctions to perform a get all scan. The scan will be incomplete. Uh, some people might end up getting disconnected from that. Um, what I do then is I just click scan again. And it says scanning auctions blah, 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 of 17,270. Uh, time left, three and a half minutes. Uh, so what I'll do is instead of just boring you and chatting away to you for three minutes, I'll uh, I'll leave it here and we'll come back to this and finish it off afterwards. All right, so we're pretty much done here with this scan. Um, I'll show you what we do with the data after that. So as you can see here, we've got three items um, that it's brought up. Uh, sometimes this is lots of items. Sometimes it's very few like it's got here. Um, the reason these have shown up is because I've got saved searches and sell prices here set up. Um, you can have disenchant, I think this is automatically checked by default but I don't have anybody that can do enchanting on, on my characters, I really should level it. Um, but what it's done is I'm saying if I buy out this and sell it to a vendor then I'll make 10% profit um, so I'll do that it'll come up with this box what you can do is you can shift click from the top and the bottom one and click bid or buy out and it recommends what to do so these are bids so if I bid on win the bottom one then I get a 50 a 47 percent profit for selling it um, so it's saying here that it's on bid for 16 gold which is eight gold twenty-five under the vendor price. Um, it's a nice little way to make a little bit of gold, uh, especially if there's a lot of stuff on there and you do manage to get them all. So I'll show you what happens there. So you click bid, it'll disappear, and click OK. The next one will pop up. Click OK. If there's lots and lots of them, you can just click, keep clicking OK, and you it just bids on them all on your behalf. Um, which is, I think, is quite good. Um, then I actually go to the sell tab, and each of the items that I've got, I've had this in my bag for God knows how long, and I don't think anybody wants it. I think I'm just going to end up making a gem for one of my level 85 characters and using it while leveling up. So, so yeah, we've got the automatic box. It's probably checked on yours. Um, click automatic it goes to whichever price calculator it thinks would be the best for you now I want to put that on the auction house for 478 gold which I'm not happy with um, so what I do is 
I don't know if that messed up then I hope it didn't because my uh, overlay has just come down over here when it should be up here um, hopefully it's not um, let me just check that and come right back okay so it didn't mess up um, right so what I do is I uncheck automatic and generally always have that to undercut um, if there's nothing on there to undercut it doubles the vendor price um, so either way you're going to make some gold so generally use your head I don't want to put this on for 10 gold because someone's going to get a ridiculous bargain it's saying historic um, which means I've actually sold one for 191 gold so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get 50 gold for it and I'll put that at 40 as bidding um, so you can change this you can make it fixed so every time you put that item on it sells for whatever price you set it up for which is good for things that are really rare and that aren't generally on the auction house but things that are on there all the time um, you just want to undercut because somebody be undercutting your fixed price generally anyway <coughs> so click create auction and that's it that one's done uh, next I'll go on my tiger opal as you can see automa the, the green bar that got flashes across the top there um, whenever you drag and drop an item in which is why my bag, bag's there it scans the auction for whatever's available on there which doubles as the scan option but I always do the scan option just so my other characters as I'm questing or doing dailies and things like that I know what to send to my bank character and what I can just vendor but generally anything that's usable by anybody else I do send to my banker and I put on the auction house because 90% of the time if you don't need it somebody else does so we'll go through here um, these don't seem to be selling very well uh, historic I've sold one for 17 gold free uh, so what I'll do is I'll put four stacks on at 10 gold a piece with an 8 gold I don't bother with the silver and copper I don't think anybody else does they just look at how much gold it's going for and then bid on it I'll put the last one on for the same price, might as well. Um, so that's it, we just keep dragging and dropping. See these, there's, there's lots on there, there's quite a few on there. I'm guessing most of them, all these are by the same person. It's generally when put, someone puts a stack of one up, that many, they've either not thought about it, or they're trying to drive the price down. Which looks like they're not thought about it because they're all at the same price. Generally, if, if people are undercutting by one at a time, one at a time, one at a time, they're trying to drive the price down, which only happens near the start of expansion packs or when new items come out and um, patches and things like that. So what I'll do is I'll just set the max amount of that. For some reason, I can't select three down here, which you used to be able to. So I'll just have to do two and one again. So it's letting me do, pick two for this one. Um, so for the most part you are clicking dragging just clicking create auction because it's going to undercut or double the vendor price and it just takes all the guesswork out of putting things on the auction house makes it a lot simpler um, I've used it for quite a while uh, I noticed it had not been on my banker for a couple of weeks um, a couple of days ago and I had overflowing bags so I went and emptied all my bags. These have gone down in price. Last time I sold one of these, I got 500 gold for it. Um, so I went and emptied all my bags, threw a load of stuff in the auction house, came back two hours later when I was logging off, and I got two, three thousand gold. Which goes to so show. Um, I'll make another video on the bag add on that I've got, postal. So that's that there in my bag is the black and dragon scale that I just bought out and I can sell to the vendor and make myself a little profit which I've just done I need to send that back to my warrior and open that with my uh, ghost iron keys so we'll send that and that's it guys that's uh, my auction master guide um, 
I don't really mess around with the settings that much in there even though there are quite a few settings that are really advanced but for me um, it does a lot so it says per stat overall there's not that much on the um, the upper and lower market thresholds if you're using the undercut it won't use these the upper and lower market thresholds are for things that are quite popular and it can mess it mess things up especially if you've got the automatic box checks because you just be dragging things in undercut yeah let's drag it in undercut okay drag it in undercut okay drag the next one in and then it'll have um, lower market price and you won't notice you click okay and it'll come at like four or five gold above what the next lowest one was because it thinks that the lowest ones are underpriced and the ones that you're, you're, you should sell should be at that price and in my experience that's not a good thing uh, what I should show you is this tab so if you go to your auction tab it shows you all your auctions that you've got on there at the, ta at the moment and uh, you can click scan auctions scan every single auction you've got on there so at the moment I've only got 46 um, so yeah we'll just let that do uh, I'll explain it as we're going down um, I think it does do it as, you, as it down at a time so it's already done these um, so that's sold which is a grey bluish bar it tells you how long you've got till it's going to be in your bank in your bag even or your mailbox mess that up then um, how much it sells for uh, who the buyer is there and this one green uh, the red bar means it's undercut so it shows you your prices and then it shows how much it's undercut by so my lowest one is 98 copper my 98 silver and then under that there's some for 64 silver and uh, there's quite a few auctions for striped melon so as you see it's, there's quite a few here that have been undercut on undercut 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 the same there and then uh, there um, so oh, the dark blue bar there this one that means somebody's bid on there so as you can see my bid price is 23 gold my buyout price is 47 gold maybe they want it to quest with or for an alt I don't know but um, yeah dark blue bar means bid the light blue bar means buyout it's already bought and the red bar means undercut by somebody else the green bar is the one that you've selected um, so what I'll do now is I'll cancel all the undercut and again it brings up this box for you to just click clicking OK so it'll cancel them one by one obviously when you cancel you don't get the money back that you paid for the posting of the auction you never get that back it's always taken out so I'll be back in my mailbox now for me to just come back and put back on if I really wanted to uh, what I think I'll do is I'll leave them in there and I'll make another quick video about the uh, the postal add-on that I'm using as well so thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next